Welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy. Today, we're heading back into the Marsh Cage and... Cage? No, cave. And we're uh, going deeper inside. As you can see, the tent didn't even fully heal my Red Mage, which is just actually sad. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and instead of going up, we're going to go south. Now, at this little fork in the road, just keep heading south because the right is a dead end. It might be actual dead end too, because who knows, you could get like ambushed from behind. Like I was, by those goddamn green slimes. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I should probably make a memo after each uh, random encounter, just to be safe. These guys, they, you can die. I mean, it would take a little bit of time for the, uh, the fighter to be killed, but you can. Now, because we went and got the treasure north of uh, this area, we uh, there's no treasure on this floor that we can get. Everything else is empty, so just keep heading to the southeast. And we'll fight gargoyles, and of course they fight first, because screw us, right? I mean, that was a lot of damage there that I wish you didn't do to Mint. Thankfully, I do have potions. All right. Now, you could try coming here at lower levels, but honestly, for Nintendo and the PlayStation version of it, you, you don't really want to do that, because you're going to die. Let's go ahead and heal you up a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, there's no high potions in this game. <laughs> um, potions are the only thing that we can get in stores that heal our HP. So, yeah. Uh... We'll be getting, like, stacks of 99 potions, uh, and they will be pretty, pretty shit at healing us, but that's, it's gonna be the only thing that heals us. Alright, so we'll be able to sell that steel plate later. I guess we could have saved a little bit of money earlier, but then again, the fact that we had a steel plate. Alright, so that's the first one. We want the last one, yeah? This one, I believe. Nope! One more. Over here. Again, you can run, but you can't hide. And, you know, enemy encounters will kick your ass. Alright, so there's two treasures on this row down here. On the other side, unfortunately. Margor- Oh my god. This is like... <laughs> I wasn't kidding earlier when I said, um, I'm pretty sure there's just a fixed percentage that you can get an enemy struck first. Because, like, seriously, this is... I want to say... The eighth encounter that we've had in this place that has an enemy struck first. And there's another one. Probably. Yep! Fa oh, okay. Thanks. Why did I feel like you could only run... No, no, no. I, I get those mixed up. I was thinking that you could run into war wolves here, but no, it's only werewolves, I think. Yeah. And unfortunately, they can poison you because they're wild animals, and if they bite you, you're gonna get infected. Like, there's just no way about it, right? You're gonna get diseased. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. By heal up, I mean unpoison myself. And come back this way. I believe this one is empty. Yep. Now, I don't think it's like uh, Final Fantasy 2 where they have increased encounters. Hey, new scale, bro. Uh, blood bones. Actually, you know what? You do that and that, and you go after that one. I'm actually surprised you one shot that one. I'm hoping the uh, hoping Rio goes uh, goes after Blood Bones. Does not go after Blood Bones. In fact, goes after the one with six goddamn HP, which is just infuriating. <laughs> Above, just okay. They have like ten HP or something like that. It's just infuriating. How much money do we have? We should have a decent amount by now. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, we've got over 3,000 since we've been in here. Yeah, no, actually, we've gotten over 4,000 since we've been in here. Levels... is gonna be a little bit since uh, we level up. But that's fine. 
still is possible that we'll actually be level 10 before we get out of here. Got a cottage. Totally forgot that was here. Didn't have to buy one earlier, but hey, you know what? That's pretty good. All right, so I went ahead and I used Tella to heal up people's HP with uh, Cure 1. Unfortunately, it didn't actually do too much, but hey, it's something. We have now used 10 antidotes. <laughs> because poison, it is not your friend. In fact, it just hates you. All right, so now we're on the third row of uh, pillars here. Not pillars, well, they're kind of pillars. Uh, this is the room that we want. As you can see, it's a chest surrounded by statues. Uh, totally make a save, a memo, before you do that. Um, we're not going to heal up any further than we already are. Now, really hoping here that this encounter isn't for. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad if it is. It might be pretty bad if it is, but hoping, hoping for two or three at most. Because there's a fixed spawn point there. It's two! Alright, so these are not really bosses, but they're kind of bosses. Uh, they're resistant to all statuses, and apparently Tella can't hit them. Or Mint, or Blue. Ryu, show them how it's done, baby. Okay, you hit him once, which is just absolutely infuriating. Um, they have 86 or 84 hit points, so yeah, he should have done that to begin with. You couldn't get 20. Blue, you couldn't get 20? You couldn't get 20! Goddamn, Blue. Alright, we got the crown. <laughs> Go us. Uh, let's go ahead up and uh, use a cure two on our buddy Ryu here. Do two of them, actually. Uh, that's all we needed for this dungeon. Now we can head back to that kind king up north. There is one more treasure we can get while we're here. And it's not the Great Ooze. We gotta watch out for Ninja Turtles, though. Uh, yeah, so let's quickly kill these. It's the Green Ooze, Kronos. God, poser. I know, but we can't actually hurt the green slimes here. Yeah, the last chest is over here. Now, there are a few more rooms for us to explore. However, we actually have to come back here for them later on because they're locked and we need a key. Oh, but we'll be getting a key. Don't worry. Not right now. Maybe not even this episode. Actually, we'll probably be getting it this episode, but at the same time, uh, we have other things to do before then. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you wear, bitch. How dare you poison Tella. Unbelievable asshole. There you go. Alright, and this is money. It's 385 gil. That's pretty good, right? Alright, I'm gonna make my way out of here. We cannot loot any more treasure because the treasure that's left is actually locked behind the doors to the south. So we'll be coming back here later. I'm gonna walk out of here and I'm gonna go back to Elfin to heal up and buy haste, which I hope I can use. I cannot use. We didn't get the level 10. Well, I'm still gonna buy it because I'm gonna want it later. And hell, maybe I'll even be level 10 by the time we get out of here, because we only need 2,100 experience points. And knowing this game, we're probably going to get that many encounters. Actually, this is a new uh, enemy that we haven't seen yet. Scorpion! Can you guess what they do? That's right, they poison you. Who would have thought? Every single enemy here poisons. That's not true. The skeletons don't poison, and the, and the zombies don't poison. They paralyze. Completely different. Alright, now I'm gonna head back to Elfin and I'll meet you there. I'm gonna use a tent when I get out of here, not a cottage though. Alright, so I went ahead and healed up. We didn't get the level 10. We did not get the level 10. Uh, we're actually close to level 10 to be quite honest. Uh, but yeah, sadly we didn't get it. I did go ahead and buy haste. For Tella. I sold all the equipment that I had here. I purchased four more tents for saving purposes. I got potions and antidotes back up to 40. Uh, 
But yeah, that's all I did. So let's go ahead and now we want to head all the way up there. I mean, I guess I could have just selected Western Keep, but yeah, we want to go return the crown to that king and uh, help him restore his kingdom. I mean, if I get up to level 10 <laughs> before we hit this castle, I might actually use a cottage. I got two of them. Though, if we keep running into wolves like that, I'm not. Because they only give like 53 experience points, and that's just the slap in the face. I mean, that was a little better. It was 96 experience. You gotta be kidding me, game. Come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> to be fair, this is not even that bad compared to what it can be. I don't know if they reduced the, the counter right on the PSP version. They probably did. I would imagine they did, because it was more in line with uh, what people would consider a standard Final Fantasy. Uh, let's go ahead and use a tent to heal up. Not a cottage, because we didn't gain a level. If we, got, if we gained a level, I would have used a tent to get my, uh, my MP back, but didn't happen. So let's just go ahead and may as well save to just heal up. And go inside. The nice music again. You can run. I don't think there's encounters here. Well, there is one. It's kind of a set encounter in that room. Why'd you make a memo, Kronos? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fools! I am the great king of Dark Elves, Astros! And thank you very much, so much. Thank you very ever so much for achieving the crown. With the crystal eye here, I shall become the true elf king. You fools have served your purpose. Do the underworld with you. I mean, it's rude. Dark elf. Astros. Can go ahead and can't cast haste, but steal on you. Probably just a steal on you. And then I'm gonna actually cast, uh, you use Bolt and Fire frequently, so you use Null Bolt. Now, Astros here is gonna try to kill someone at the start of the battle. And he's gonna miss. Well, that's a shame. Bronos, what are you doing? No, he killed my only damage dealer. You can't do that, game. So yes, that is why I made a memo. If you had two warriors or a monk, you can still do that fight fairly frequently, easily. Without a warrior in this group setup, that's kind of shit. If he kills like blue or or mint even, or hell, even Tella, I don't want him to kill anyone. I want him to miss. All right. And if he misses, that's great. But, you know what? I'm going to steal on blue. So he does some damage, maybe. And then we'll do Null Bolt here. After he does Reaper, uh, Astros will uh, start using, like, level 2 spells. Please miss. Please miss. Please miss. Okay, we'll see how much damage blue does. Um, we'll do no fire as well. <laughs> Why? Now, a Astos, he only has, uh, 168 HP. So he doesn't have that much. You're gonna haste yourself. You're a dick. <laughs> oh. You could only do one there. All right. Well, that's the reason why I did the null fire ice and stuff like that, because it makes those attacks pretty shit. But I'm actually going to go ahead and reset again, just so uh, Astos here uh, doesn't kill my damage dealer. Again, if you have two warriors or if you have a monk, 
you're good to go, right? Like, just buff up with steel, get your null elements out so he doesn't kill you with them. If he kills one of your fighters, like a monk or a, you know, a warrior, you have another one to back up on. Because I was like, hey, let's see how a thief does, and I was stupid. It, it took four episodes to me. Actually, it took, it took two episodes for me to get to, like, oh, God, I don't want a thief. But at the same time, um, yeah. I'm hoping he misses this time. You're just never gonna... You're just never gonna miss, are you? Alright. This better work. Blue, I finally found a use for you. You better... You better get hit, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, no bolt. That's fine. Really? Astos, really? You're just gonna... You're not gonna use Reaper? You're literally scripted to use Reaper on your first fucking turn. What do you mean you're not going to use Reaper? Why? I'm mad. And you hit it. Yes. Good. He deserves to die. I swear to God, I, I was ready for that to miss, and I was going to be super pissed off. Okay, we're good now, though. Now that Reaper's out of the way, and it took care of our useless party member, and now you do... You... you now you... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, as I said, Asos is actually extremely easy once you get past the Reaper. It probably would have been a little bit faster if I had haste, but that's... Completely fine. I might just leave Blue dead. Really, Cronus? You're gonna leave Blue dead? Honestly, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, at least maybe until the further in the game when he gets upgraded, maybe? Let's go back to Eltham. Um, and actually, no, we don't want to go to Eltham. We, well, okay, we do want to go to Eltham because yes, I'm gonna revive Blue. <sighs> do I really want to though? Uh, not really. I mean, he doesn't deserve it. But, yeah, let's go to Eltham. Um, I'm just going to meet you there because of all these encounters. And uh, I'm going to stay at the inn. <sighs> I will revive Blue. It's a shame that he's going to be, you know, missing 750 experience points. But it could be worse. I could not revive him at all. Okay, I lied. What do you mean you lied? Well, okay, no, I don't want to be an Elfin right now. We, we need to go back to Matoya's cave, if you remember where that is. I'm actually going to show you on screen because it's been a while since we've been there. It's been two episodes, but at the same time, it's been a while. But before we actually do anything else, I'm going back to Cornelia. Because they wanted 200 gil to revive Blue. And to be quite frank, he's not worth 200 gil. So I'm hoping... You do it for 40 gil here. Still. Yes. All right. Great. See, Blue, Blue not now you actually get to be alive. If they, if they were going to charge 200 gil, I was just not going to revive you. <laughs> Chronos, so are these House of Recoveries uh, the only way to actually get someone revived? No. There are life spells in the game. Um, they are high-level spells, and they are not available to us right now. In the future, they will be, but as of right now, they're not really available. So, yeah, we can't really do anything about that. There are no Phoenix Downs. 
They're I think they added them for the GBA and the PSP version, though. But hey, if you want to experience the original brutality of Final Fantasy 1, the PS or well, the PlayStation version is the way to go. Just don't use a thief. Use the monk, like I said, or two warriors. <laughs> it would be fine. Really? Alright, we'll use a bolt spell. We get three uses of it now, so that's great. Hey, you got level ups! Oh, I never showed you guys my stats, did I? Shit. And I gained two levels since then, haven't I? Alright, well, that's my bad. Just kind of imagine that they're missing two points in certain stats. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I was supposed to show you guys after the grinding, didn't I? And I didn't. My bad. Um, but yeah, no, Tell is doing pretty good as an all-rounder. He's actually a fairly competent fighter. Still, normally they start petering out now. Um, Defense-wise, he's going to start petering out because he can't really get anything, uh, any more heavy equipment aside from that chainmail. While the as while Ryu is going to be just stacked with equipment and taking very little damage. He's going to get hit every time, though. Eventually, we're going to get uh, like better armlets for everyone that do, do, does do more damage. Not damage, but more defense. But, uh, again, not for a little while. It kind of irritates me that Blue's that behind in experience. But at the same time, uh, that's his fault, not mine. Also, I think I missed the ground point. Ah, the privateers. You know what? I don't want to leave. I want to just kill him. Is the Red Mage the fastest one in the group right now? He says when he goes probably last. No, third. Okay. Now let's see. Where Where is this? Ah, I did. I meant to go this way. Through here and up here. We could have walked from... You know, Cornelia, but, eh, it's fine. Some old... <sighs> the level one enemies got a struck first on us. Really? That's just rude. We should not miss these guys, and we should one-shot them, because they have 6 HP. They probably have less than 6 HP, actually, to be quite honest. So, yeah. Oh, Red Mage Tella has more HP than Blue. That's because of the level difference, but still. It's kind of sad. You're right. Yeah, more games definitely need that whole... Actually, you know what? It, it kind of brings a nitpicky point to some, like, MMOs these days. They, uh... They, they introduce it, like, like, scaling down... Like, if you're too high level for an area, they'll, they'll scale you down, which I think is just stupid. If you're too high level for the area, enemies should not engage you. And they should not, like, be a challenge to you. You shouldn't be scaled down. That's dumb. That's why I don't like certain aspects of, like, MMOs anymore. Anyways. Really? On the doorsteps, huh? At least it's only one Cobra. But somehow lived. Three attacks. Alright, let's go give Matoya her crystal eye. Hey, how's it going? Is that my crystal eye? Give it to me! Yeah, I'll give you the most wondrous potion from my collection. It's called Viagra. Or it's Jolt Tonic. Tonic Tonic? Tonic, Jolt Tonic. Ah, now I can see everything! My god, you're ugly! He's like, now get out of here. You're welcome. Jerk. Alright, now... Let's head all the way back... To, um, uh, not Matoya, to, uh... The elf place down here. Elfum, that place. Alright, now that we have the Jolt Tonic, let's go to the castle. Dog, just let me go through the castle. 
I thought you could enter from the top. Apparently you can only enter from the front or the sides. Who would have thought? Hey, I have this tonic for you. Oh, do you want it? A chill tonic? This will surely awaken the prince. We must try it at once. Your Highness! Ugh, oh, it seems as if I was caught in a never-ending dream. Am I still dreaming, or do I see the legendary warriors? It is not a dream. Then the time has come to pass the mystic key to its rightful master, as foretold by legend. Wait, is this still the king? Or the whatever? Oh, whatever. Anyways, we're getting the mystic key. Remember all those doors that I told you that were locked? Guess what we, we're we gonna do? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Kronos, even the Marsh Cave? Yeah, no, we're going back there. We're going back there and all the way to the end to get uh, to get some locked goodies. Uh, there's one up here, so we'll start with this one. Uh, we're we're going to get the other ones next episode, though, because it is going to take a lot of time to actually do. So we get a Mithril Hammer. Hey, that's an upgrade for the, the White Mage. We get 400 gil. Okay. We get 330 gil. All right. And we get bronze gloves. Hey, that is a necessary upgrade or glove upgrade for you. Uh, booyah. She can cause a little bit more damage now. Probably more than the thief. Blue. The jackass. How much money do I have? 8,000. That's pretty good. I'm not going to waste it on spells right now. Um, there are level 4 black magic we can get. But we have haste already that we bought last time we were here. So that's all we need. We only need haste. I'm going to go ahead and stay at this inn. And then next episode, we're going to go to the Western Keep, the bottom of the Mars Cave, Cornelia, and the Temple of Chaos to get some treasures. And I will see you all then. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.